Sports. My name is Mike Murphy. I'm a filmmaker in from Los Angeles. We're covering an issue called geoengineering. Okay, thanks, guys. Senator, a quick question about the issue of geoengineering. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. And wondering if uh, you were supportive of geoengineer's proposals of spraying 10 to 20 million tons of aluminum into the atmosphere. I should really get a briefing paper on it before I give it to Oh, not a problem. Are you aware of the issue? Not, at, not completely. No. At all? Because, okay. Um, do you have a letter from constituents? And people have concerns. Yeah, what the... We're making a documentary about the... I don't know, you guys have credentials to be here? Yes, yes, yes we do. We, we pass through endowed security as well. Endowed by our creator. I think so. Please don't touch that. Please don't, please don't touch my property. property. You're just, you're just, you're, you're lying. No, why? What, what, what did we lie? What did we lie about, sir? No, we're not. What are we lying about? Lying about what? Okay. That's a little unusual, huh? I haven't heard that. No. Okay. Um, you're not aware of it? And it appears that these programs have already been deployed. You know, I haven't looked at that proposal, and so, you know, uh, well, why don't you let me review it? I, I can do that. Are you aware of the action I'm going to go with? Yeah. Let me go ahead and get sure. that. I will take a look at this, and, and, uh, and I will uh, act uh, accordingly. General, this. Oh, I'm sorry. This program, this openly covert program of the aerosol spraying, stratospheric aerosol spraying, geoengineering, what? using uh, tons of aluminum, spraying it up in the sky. No okay. Commonly called chemtrail surface. When when you were the head of NEMA, did you see the uh, the aerosol trails? Mike Murphy, filmmaker in Los Angeles. Hi, sir. And we're covering an issue called geoengineering, and wanted to know if you're supportive of geoengineers' proposals. <laughs> Congressman? Hey, Congressman. I'm wondering if you're supportive of geoengineers' proposals, which is dumping 10 to 20 million tons of aluminum into the atmosphere? I'm familiar with that. Pardon? I'm familiar with that. Uh. Okay. Um, Can you make an appointment to my office? Um, I, I'm not supportive. I, 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 I haven't looked at it. Uh, so have, have you heard of the issue? Because it's becoming uh, uh, mainstream and public, and it's, there are actually congressional committees which are being formed to talk about these programs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, I think if we drop anything into the atmosphere, we should know prior to the effect of that, right? Yes. And, and, and if we don't have the knowledge as, as to what the effect will be, we shouldn't do it. I think there are four different options for thinking about deployment of geoengineering. Uh, the first one would be we just ban it. I would argue that one does not want to get too firm a restriction in place on small-scale studies early on because it'll tie the science hands. I think what the science community ought to be trying to do is say, if you do small-scale stuff inside this space, and it's a scientific question what that space ought to be, there shouldn't be a lot of oversight and restriction. Congressman? Excuse me. Hi, I'm Mike Murphy from Los Angeles covering an issue called geoengineering. These guys are running from the uh, geoengineering issue. I wonder why. I'd have to talk to my staff. I don't know what your, your details on that are. Have, have anyone made you aware of the issue? or? Sir? Did uh, your committee talk about geoengineering last November? Are you in support of those proposals? I'd love to give you a paper. Uh, geoengineering? Or you know nothing about the geoengineering issue? Never heard of it. They call it geoengineering, but... Uh, yeah, I never heard of it. It's nothing I've ever heard anything about. Uh, when, we, when we looked up in the air today, outside of the sea, we saw this stuff going on. Quickly, have you heard of geoengineering? No. The proposals to shoot 10 million tons of metals into the air. This committee, Science and Technology, covered it for the first time. No. No, never heard of it. So, we were very concerned. We spoke with uh, Congresswoman Watson's office, and her press secretary, Ms. White, is, was familiar with uh, Representative Kucinich's uh, Space Preservation Act, which mentioned chemtrails and the weaponization of the atmosphere in space, and then it was pressured uh, to be taken off of, off of the, off the uh, bill. 
Did you, did you see the aerosol spraying going on today over to the Capitol? Geoengineering carries with it a tremendous range of uncertainties, ethical and political concerns, and the potential for catastrophic environmental side effects. He, he's, uh, he's not one to do interviews very often, uh, so uh, not this we usually really pressure him into it. Okay. So, uh, so don't, you know, all that is don't hold your breath. As chairman of the Committee of Jurisdiction, I feel a responsibility to begin a public dialogue and develop a record on geoengineering. We want to know if you're supportive of their measures by spraying 10 to 20 million tons of aluminum no. into the atmosphere? No, no I think we, have to have, we need to have more research. Okay. And about the issue of current deployment, there's literally a mountain of evidence that uh, many people believe proves the deployment of these programs. Any knowledge of that? No, I don't, no there's certainly not a mountain of evidence. Uh, but I, I do support research into the uh, into geoengineering, mm -hmm. and I also uh, support looking into the international governance of that. Okay. I hope you know anybody that has studied it knows, which I think that it's a radical proposal, and, and I hope we don't have to use it. But there may come that point in time where we do. Now, if we could provide you with the evidence that suggests that these programs are and have been ongoing, would you be willing to address this publicly? We, we, we've had about three or four meeting, uh, hearings on it. We have addressed them publicly. Well, it, not not about the proposals, current but about deployment. the current deployment of these programs. Uh, Citizens, I, I, don't, I don't support the current deployment. I think we need to have more research, and they, they have consequences that go beyond one nation. And so I think that uh, there needs to be governance to that. Governance is not simply an issue of deployment, but governance before deployment, in terms particularly of large-scale scientific fieldwork. I concede that um, on this subject and in general, it's not popular to talk about global rules. And when these people started talking about uh, the need for UN Security Council oversight, a supranational environmental security enforcement with a strong mandate by the UN, you know, it, uh, it really is clear that they're looking for a global power behind the manipulation of the environment.